A very good morning and Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. Seek the soul, the truth lies within. And all those who are listening to this on Instagram, YouTube or Twitter, you will be provided with a link in the description where you can go and click on the link and also explore the past 200 plus Vardhans or the blessings. Along with that, you can go and check out diet plans. You can check out chair exercises, yoga asans on chair, yoga asans for flexibility, relationships, parenting and sleep patterns and much more. Go and have a look and explore it in the playlist and also share it with others if you like what you see. So let's go ahead with today, 221st day of our Godly Blessing. What does Baba or God the Father have to say for our spiritual awakening? Baba says, may you be unshakable and immovable and with an attitude of unlimited disinterest. It's time to go back to God the Father, the Supreme Abode. So this time at the end of Kalyuk should be an attitude of unlimited disinterest. Nothing is mine. I'm just a trustee taking care of things, even taking care of this body, taking care of the money which God has given me. Loss or profit, I am neutral because everything will be left over here and I'll have to go up. So become a conqueror of attachment and an embodiment of remembrance so those who always have an attitude of unlimited interest disinterest are never afraid nor do they shake when they see any scene that is what god wants us to become like what happened how did it happen who did this why did that person do like this he shouldn't have done this he should have said this do we do all these things when we are watching a movie no so God wants us to become a detached observer of even our own roles in our life. <clears throat> Excuse me. Even the roles of other people, our relatives, closed ones, even the whole world become a detached observer. So God wants us to see this whole world as a movie and we are detached in that. So then Baba says, they always remain unshakable and immovable. This is because with the attitude of unlimited disinterest, they become conquerors of attachment and embodiments of remembrance. We say that we did not get anything along with us, nor will we take anything along with us. So even the relations, the money, even this body, the clothes, everything, finances, money, jewelry, everything is not mine. I'm just a trustee taking care of it. So whom we call as our own parents or brothers and sisters and wife, Everything. Did they come along with us? No. Will they go along with us? No. So the attachment has to be understood. That has to be removed. It doesn't mean that you become totally harsh or you become totally selfish or you become totally heartless when you talk to them. No. Attachment means attachment to any expectations from them or any outcome from them or any support from them. So that kind of attachment has to be removed. We are givers because God is a parent and we are givers of respect, love, kindness, care to others, but not expect. That is detachment. So if you have even the slightest fluctuation when you see something or if you have attachment, you would not be said to be an unshakable and immovable as Angad. Now there's a story of Angad. He used to stand in one place and people used to try to move his leg and they should not be able to 10 15 people were not able to move his leg that is a story yes in the hindu mythology but there's a spiritual meaning to it it means that your your thought should be so powerful with so much of willpower that nobody is able to shake you or move you around that is what god wants us to understand those stories are stories they are they're not people who really used to live whom people you were trying to move their leg from one place on the on on the earth it's not that it's a spiritual understanding that's what hindu mythology is all about so god says with the attitude of unlimited disinterest together with maturity and seriousness let there also be an entertaining nature it's like not always being so detached that you stop laughing, you stop laughing at jokes, you stop laughing at things, you stop being lighter, you become very uh, conscious about, no, I'm not supposed to be attached to this person, I better not laugh along with that person, I'll be attached or I'll fall 
into a relationship or fall into some kind of a trap no that is not attachment that is not what god is saying god wants us to be lighter we are being lighter for ourselves light hearted at the same time entertaining that means being somebody who has a jovial nature jovial nature keeps us lighter it's not about trying to make somebody laugh it's not about trying to make somebody feel happy it's about being happy and automatically other people around you feel happy that is what god wants us to become that is what god wants us to have a balance not being too serious i better not be attached to this person i better not have expectations from this person if i do something then that person uh, you know that person will think that i want something in return no no i don't think so much be light lighter so this is today's blessing if you have any comments if you think you want to add something to it if i have missed out something if you want to be it to be added in to this put your comments and share it with others Have a blessed day. Stay safe and have a healthy life and a prosperous life, successful life ahead. But remember, be detached, observer. Have a nice day. Om Shanti. Um.